just gotten a sit rep from JSOC. Intelligence indicates an MSOB team stationed on the colony are setting up a base in the central building. Meaning there are remaining colony forces? Communications were cut off before they were able to confirm any survivors. Should we go and check it out? Hey, dude. What's up? We don't have time to be checking things out. If there are survivors, they might have intelligence on enemy positions. And any information on enemy locations is better than what we know right now. Trying to convince me it's worth it, huh? Ray Fox Field Ops will be providing intel support, sir. I'm unlocking the door. Proceed through to the other side. There should be a few crates around, right, so Bravo, we should Bravo. probably Bravo. see what we can get from them. And I seem to be getting rocket launchers, which I don't need. Okay. Shotgun, is the alternative. One hundred yard dash. Oh nope. Oh, I screwed it up. I just screwed it up. That's oh, too bad. No. Well. Actually, let's try it again. There we go. One hundred yard dash. <laughs> I did not need that, but no. Oh. Right. There we go. Gray Fox 1 5. Can you get us to that central building? Negative Bravo 6 actual. The central building's in the colony center ring. We just can't get a transport ship in there. Why not? An installation on Grand Hills using a directional transmitter to jam all our frequencies. Our nav systems won't work between the northern and central rings. Then find a way that doesn't use your navigation systems. There is no other way apart from walking up to that jamming transmitter and turning it off, sir. Bye, Gray Fox 1-5. Then what's the sit rep on enemy force strike? Not positive on that yet, Bravo 6 Actual. But I figure they've got to be dug in pretty deep by now. Oh, all the pretty faces. Bravo 6 Actual, over. Bravo 6 Actual, this is Dev Crew Gold 5. Encountering resistance on Grand Hill. Casualties okay, this bit is tricky. I mean, in no way is it impossible, and in most cases you probably won't die, but... This is, um... A bit where you have to be smart about how you do it. Is it strategically important? They teach you those big words at Starbuck Fantasy Academy. No pussy putting up here, ladies. We run out and we take them down. Affirmative problem six actual. All this really weird music. It's a very systematic way of doing this. Though it is a bit tricky still. Okay, um... For the moment, I'm gonna keep my current equipment. And... I do... Uh, well, that was an EMP grenade, but... You have a few regular grenades. I don't have it, need the heavy, but regardless. Well, I can't really use it because it's uphill. You want us to breach that thing? The directional transmitters are on top of Grand Hill. No other way to get up there but to hop it. This thing is rather big. It was easy. We'd have already done it. Them later. Only a few though. And this time I'm not actually gonna run out, I will just keep boosting from cover to cover. Because with this bit and the bit with the Creon, 
it's not smart at all to just walk out even on casual. Because situations may occur where you think you're okay, and the next minute you um, get shot from several people and you think, oh, that's not a problem, and then something explodes and that kills you. So, really, you just have to be smart about how you do this part. I mean, a few reckless parts say, like, oh, to grab ammo or something, there's nothing wrong with that, but for the most part, staying in cover is essential because really, you have to keep pushing until you get close enough to them to hurt them whatever weapon you may have equipped. This bit and the bit um, with the uh, boss at the top, the best thing to do is stay the crap away from it and slowly make your way up. It is very easy to die. Trust me, if you try to rush that bit, something will fall on you and that will be a serious problem. Okay, take this guy out. Well... I think I just saw an enemy there. Yes, I did. Usually I would just charge up but for the sake of the achievement, I seriously want to take my time. Because the turret guys aren't really going to be taken until I move up, so I'm going to move up slowly. The front door should open. Wait, nope. Enemies are here. Whoop. Yeah, the turrets up there shouldn't be able to get you now. Now, but the best thing to do is take care of these enemies quickly. You should be getting ma max this one too soon, and that would be pretty useful. Be really careful here. which I don't need. That I do need. Well, barely. Okay, good. For this next bit, shotgun is essential, mainly because they turn the corners abruptly, and especially on hard. It may be annoying to be going through these container parts, and then suddenly one the enemy pops out, and that's the end of you. Got a quick draw for this one. Did that guy just jump out and stumble? Not what I was after, but it'll do. Look at that guy waiting to jump out on me. Slightly more reckless, but I don't advise it. Still, you have to kill all the enemies and then move. Even with boost, 
getting killed is very easy in this part. Especially on hard. Um, with max assault rifle you can get them. Him in the head. I can get this guy in the foot. And casually move him around. Oh, that guy got his face. Douchebag, you can't hurt me. And I can't really hurt you right now either. There you go. This is why Max Assault Rifle is good, so that way you can just keep, like, wasting ammo, keep landing on them. Okay. When going in, always remember, for close quarters only. Idiot. Whoa. Whoop. I think a rule of thumb is that when doing casual but going for the living legend achievement, play as if playing hard. Oh, what the heck? The thing followed me all the way outside. much as I'd really like to use those weapons. Okay, max disc launcher? Disc launcher, what? Um, yeah. This is gonna be fun. And now that I've done that, I can swap out the disc launcher for other weapons that I want to use. I'm only wanted to max it out just for the last boss. The max, the max, this launcher is pretty useful. She can get that guy down there. It's useful, but sometimes it doesn't always do what you want it to do. I think, mm, well, once I run out of ammo for this, anyway, I'll switch to the LFE gun, the life gun. We're at the gate. Setting charges now. The demo team has set their charges. You need to get away from that gate. Indeed. Yeah, but well, I love how they're casually there, like. Go, go, go! Mission complete. 